Alright guys, so a new dungeon just came out. It's the new DD run. It's called Battle of Time and Space. You're going to be level 83 to enter the dungeon. And I'm just going to show you how to run it. Now what you want to do is get in this area right here. That is the most experience you can get for CP and experience. Class level and your character level. What you want to do is change into the Mimic class. Go all around this route right here. Watch out for the cannons because they do hurt a lot. And go on this bridge. Use the Sage um, Invisibility, change it to Mecha, and attack this area right here. This is what you want. Alright, so here we go. So on the Mimic class and just go into the route, what I showed you earlier, to get to the spot. Now I'm using a shield and a sword for more defense and so, you know, the mobs don't attack me that hard. And I'm just going to repair my gear. There you go. So you got to watch out for the cannons on the left side. They do hurt a lot. They are... They hurt a lot. That's all I got to say. They hurt a lot. You want to just go, you know, to the route where I showed you earlier on the map. We're almost there. Watch out for the mobs and cross this bridge right here. And this is the bridge you want. So what you want to do is do invisibility off of the sage skill. Right here. See? Right here. This is what we want. Now I'm going to change it to Mecha form and do the run. I'm going to show you how to guys to do it. Now this is my guide. Um, if you have a, a different way, you can all by me, my means use your way. But this is my guide. So what you want to do is go to the spot I showed you earlier on the map and just attack the mobs. So you want to grab all the mobs when you go to the spot so your gears can heal you up. And there you go. So at the end of the video, I will show you what gears, what graphs, um, what KP points, what buffs I'm using at the end of the video. Now this run is pretty difficult. Um, all the mobs are higher level than yourself. Well, I'm for me, I'm a level 85 and the mobs are higher. So your defense is going to be a bit lower. And what you want to do is just grab all the mobs, what I'm doing, and just attacking them. Alright, now if your HP is going low, um, use Total Annihilation, which gives your HP back. Make sure your missiles are on still, and then change into the Mecha form again. Class. Um, yeah, just all you have to do here is just kite them. What I'm doing right now, just keep on kiting them, and yeah, that's all you have to do. Use your missiles, all your skills, and just attack. Now, you gotta have good evasion on this run, and I would recommend 70% dark resistance because all these mobs or mostly um, attack with dark dark attack um, they are some of them are range attack so be careful and you know just kite them and you what you want to do is just keep on moving in a circle and just keep on going and attacking them over and over again now if you stop if you want to stop that's the end like say you stop attacking or anything like that you're gonna die um, the only way to get out of this is to die. So what you want to do is just keep on attacking. There you go. I'm killing them. There you go. There's the experience on the bottom right there. And here you go. So the first wave is almost done. And now what you want to do is just keep on attacking. Keep on going over and over again. Grab some more mobs and keep on going. Alright, so I just died here. And I'm just going to show you all my gears I'm using. Um, of course, Mecha. The class I'm using. Good way to kill those mobs. Now, here we go. Just gotta show you. There you go. My gun. My trophies. Pretty easy to get. My cape. Dark resistance. Good. And rings. Pretty easy to get also. Necklace. And my armor. I put some of them dark gems on because they're good for Kimba room run and this run right here. And my magic attack, attack, um, critical rate, um, critical damage, defense, evasion. And what you want is really good dark resistance. So I got 70 points here. That's what you want for this run or for the mobs. And I'm just going to show you my... KP points, same as my Kimba Room run, my uh, certificate I'm using, mostly evasion, 
There you go, magic attack, critical magic attack, and I already showed you my rings. Um, okay, we're gonna go to uh, graphs, mostly evasion graphs, uh, magic attack, magic critical attack, magical damage attack, and my buffs I'm using for my pets. Uh, pretty easy to get, and there you go. Uh, you can use pod buffs if you like. I didn't use any. And there you go. So if you have any question, leave a comment. Leave a like if you like this video. Um, if you want me to do more videos, uh, subscribe. And this is Tarek N, signing off.